So we will get you a logistic plan for mm. shower. Mm. But I mean, I'll, I'll, I won't use the shower because of the leeches. I'll, I'll yeah. just I'll go in the pool like everyone else. It's just this morning I've started thinking, OK, I well, think I can sort of routine. see my way ahead. Yeah, You're exactly. Routine, aren't you? mm. Exactly. We've got the fire going. We've been cracking jokes all day. And she's just opened up to us about a condition that she has. It's also an autistic thing. When you're trying to work out what to do, yes. we need... What neurotypicals have is a thing called mirror neurons, right. so they can see a thing done yeah. and yeah. know how to do it. And I have to kind of line the mirror neurons yes. up in my head. And yeah. Like, this, 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 this. Yeah, this. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah it, doesn't, it doesn't... Yeah, it, yes, I mean, it doesn't have to be the same all the time, but I've got to sort of actually work it out And envisage yourself doing it and stuff. Yeah. I had read about Anne's autism and I wish I thought last night, of course, this is a typical autistic thing to do. She's sitting, she's trying to process all these new surroundings. I get it completely. She was trying to figure out what the hell she's doing here and how to move forward. And she's obviously started to get a little bit of routine now because she's happier. So, and what I read, Mm -mm. Was you didn't realise till you were older? Yeah, it wasn't until 2003 when I was 45. Really? So, yeah. So you got tested? Yeah. Mm. And they said yes? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I didn't raise the autism issue um, because it's not something I... By the way, I, I want you to know I have this interesting disability which you have to accommodate. Um, and I, I sort of... I try not to do that. But, you know, if someone else raises it, I make it quite clear and I'm happy to talk about it. I know one of the... Um... One of the characteristics is, for a lot of autistic people, is not picking up on social cues. Yeah. But you don't seem to have that. No. You I seem hope to... I don't Oh, have you a don't. Problem. Oh, good. Thank you, you don't. No. no not at all. I mean, that's something that I've sort of worked on. As a teenager, I was absolutely useless at it. So is it oh, more really? a case of you've had to go, I should feel like this, so I should act like this, because that's how I'm supposed to yeah, react sort of. right now? Like, I'm actually perfectly happy for the rest of you to be building the fire and boiling ice. Yes. Yeah. I'm fine, darlings, you know, yeah. you get it on. But I just sort of think, no, come on, Anne, pull your way. No, yeah, but oh, we love so, it. Uh, but that's what I mean, so... Mm. You do pick up on social cues, mm, definitely. Mm. Yeah, I, I hope I do. I really appreciate how nice and sympathetic they've been to me and how supportive they are. And it was nice that they said that I actually pick up social cues because I'm never quite sure that I entirely do. So, so that was nice to know. I do. I find uh, Asperger's and autism fascinating. I always have. I don't know why. It's interesting. There's a sense in which something like OCD is almost more interesting. You know that I'm fully diagnosed OCD. Are you? Fully diagnosed. Are you? Oh, yeah. Didn't know that. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm, um, I'm much better that. now. I How was... the hell are you doing this? Because I'm not too bad with <laughs> cleanliness and all of that. Oh. I don't do any of the rituals anymore. I used to be a real light switcher. Oh, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Cha tap checker, and mm -hmm. I would spend mm -hmm. hours doing it. It's pro it's almost the complete opposite of you, because yours is all logical and mine's yeah. all illogical. And I'm glad she's opened up about it, because then she can say, look, I'm just having one of my moments, because she's just got such a lovely nature, and I think people don't realise that, because she plays this alter ego that's, like, meanie. I don't think you seem at all... No, I mean, like, I, really, I didn't know anything. I, I wouldn't know meeting you. There are things. I mean, uh, if you saw my house, you'd know there was something very wrong. Really? Are you a hoarder? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and messy. <laughs> I mean, an OCD person would not like my house. <laughs> and it's just sort of... I just get overwhelmed with all the things there yes, are to do. Yes, yes. And I'm like, I have no idea. So then you just leave it? Because you don't even want to touch it. Yeah. You don't want to face it. Yeah. Sort of. I think we've, we've made her feel really comfortable that now she's just sharing a bit more. Like every day we're like chipping away, chipping away at that tough governess exterior. And we're seeing that, you know, inside she is the sweetest, most humble, just lovely, lovely woman inside. Oh,